Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. When I use the word cooking, I'm telling you, I've been cooking all day, making different things. We got uh, some things coming up. So anyway, today we're going to be making us uh, a condiment for your Fourth of July barbecue, some barbecue, and whatever kind of barbecue you like, family get together. But it's uh, onions and red sauce. It's uh, like uh, you know the, the hot dog guys in New York, the Saber, the Nathan's. They they put a red onion sauce on there. So I'm gonna make uh, another ver. I made a version way back, but I didn't like it as much. But I'm, I've been working on this and working on this. So finally, I figure this is it. <laughs> you guys are gonna love it. It's gonna take a little bit, but it's well worth the wait. This is on the way we go. Okay, there's not many ingredients. There's a couple in here you don't need to put in, but I'm putting them in anyway. For me, you don't have to. But anyway, you got a pot on medium to medium high. I got uh, some extra virgin olive oil I'm gonna put in here, about a couple tablespoons. Here I've got two cups of uh, sliced, very thin onions. As you can see, they're pretty thin. See, I've got here a quarter cup of uh, apple cider vinegar. We need some tomato paste, probably about two tablespoons of that. I got a, tape, a teaspoon and a half of uh, minced garlic. This is this is a this is one of the things I added to it. It's a, maybe a teaspoon of uh, jalapenos, pickled jalapenos, huh? There's some water that you might use. Well, we're going to use it, but my. Uh, <clears throat> Last time I made it, I put about two and a half cups, was, I thought was too much. So we'll start off with a cup and see what happens. I got some red pepper flakes there. And if you think it's too watery towards the end, and you want to still keep some liquid in there, I got some cornstarch so you can help thicken it up. We'll show you how to do that. Okay, let's go. Okay, we got a little sizzle in the pan, so... Just trying to coat these onions real quick with some of that oil. And we're going to let these render down for about, I don't know, until they're pretty soft, five or six minutes. And uh, I shall return, famous words of MacArthur. Okay, I'm going to give us a little uh, pinch between the cheek and gum of some salt and pepper here. There's a, that's a two, two finger pinches, so. <clears throat> okay, give me a couple more minutes, we'll be right back, go to the next step. Okay, they've softened up a little, so what I'm gonna do is add some water in here. And hopefully that'll help steam these up a little bit and get them a little softer than they already are. Now, if we need more water, you can always add, like I said. <coughs> okay, so now we're going to jam this up with about two tablespoons of tomato paste. That's one. That's two. Okay. Okay, we're going to mix that in until uh, it looks nice. And see, it's starting to look nice. Look at that nice, rich color getting on the onion, as it were. Now, this is where it's going to take you some time because now you have to cook it. And you want to get all that nice flavor in there. So now we're going to put some garlic. Since we put the water in there, we could have put the garlic a little sooner, but don't want to burn the garlic. And my secret ingredient, my little hopalino friends there. Stir this around. Like I said, if you don't want to put the jalapenos, don't put it. I just like it. It's a little extra kick. Uh, this onion sauce should have a little bit of a nice spicy bite. Just a little bit, not much. I'm going to put just a little bit of red pepper flakes in here. I'm going to add some sweetness. 
excuse me, because it's tight, Mr. Dan. Woo! I'm gonna put about two tablespoons here of uh, corn syrup. Okay, that should be good. And if you want, you can go a little heavier than that, but totally up to you. Now to break all the sweetness up, make a nice level flavoring, that's why you use the apple cider vinegar. See, you can use white vinegar if you like. I've been using apple cider for a long time, so pour some of that in there. Hey, what do we got here? And then we're just going to let this here simmer away. The only thing we really have to dump in now is some pepper flakes. And then we're just going to let this slowly simmer until it reduces. And our onions pick up a little of that red color. Now you'll see some people make this with ketchup. That's where I'm, I don't want to be messing around with ketchup. <coughs> that was one ugly piece of jalapeno. How to get rid of that. But you see there's very, very, very few like spicy things in here right now. You're not gonna, this is not meant to be a spicy dish. Just enough to complement your hot dog. Some people put it on hamburgers. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, some people put ketchup in here. Some people put ketchup mustard Worcestershire sauce. I think this recipe comes as close to the New York style of the red on, red onions and red sauce. So give me a few. We'll reduce this a bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's see what we got going here now. Then you don't have a lid to fit on your hot. <laughs> Grab your dish. <laughs> Man, the aroma of this is, whoa. Brings back memories of the old push cart going down the avenue. Oh, yeah, we used to get in New York, the city. We go down there. You can go from one street corner to the next. And grab your hot dog. And by the time you get done with that one, there's another vendor right there. <laughs> But those guys got to get licenses for it. Plus, I'm pretty sure it's still the same way, but their their spot was their spot. They paid that spot. And if somebody moved in on it, they got pretty upset. So the other thing now, what we're going to do here is just hit it with some red pepper flakes here. Probably a, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. I don't even think it's that much. And we'll mix that in, and that's all the ingredients all in there. Except for, like I said, if you want to let this steam away a little bit like I'm going to do now. And we'll see how thick it gets. And now if it's still too watery, I'll show you what we're going to do if, if it is. I might just do it anyway just to show you. Because, you know, to me, I would say the thicker the better. But it doesn't matter. It tastes delicious. That's all I know. You can make it thick. You can make it runny. People like it different ways. You decide to make this, make it your way. Okay, I'm going to give this a little taste test here. pinch more of uh, an apple cider vinegar because it's a little on the, the sweet side so if you like that then you put a little bit little vinegar little pucker power and that'll balance out your flavor so it's not too this and too that it should be you want it to be perfectly balanced huh See how it's, it's reducing big time here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys what we can do now. After I give it another taste test, let me rinse my spoons. Now we're, we're doing a lot of uh, a lot of cooking today. We got uh, 
pre-cooking stuff that we're going to use next week. Some meatballs and sausages. We cook them all at one time on the grill. Mmm. Yep. Yeah, that did it. Mm. Now, with this condiment, you mix that with your hot dog and mustard. Oh, man, you got a the taste that's over the moon. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm not going to thicken this up too much, so I'm just going to take like a half a teaspoon here. And uh, this is, now remember, this is uh, cornstarch, see? And we'll put a little, little water. Normally, I don't put water in there. Uh, but in this case, I'm not doing anything special. Uh, but if I was, I'd be using whatever, like uh, a little bit of uh, chicken broth, chicken stock, whatever, veggie stock. Okay, then you just mix it together. See how I'm doing this here? And keep mixing, because as soon as you stop, like the solids back off the water and they drop to the bottom, Next thing you know, you got a thing of cement down there. Okay, while the, while, you, while your stuff is boiling, okay. See, we got a nice little nice little rumble here. Move this out of the way. And before you start, like I said, make sure that you mix it well, and then just dribble some in there, just a little at a time. Don't go crazy, because. You put too much in. Remember, you can't. You can keep adding, but you can't take it out once you put it in there. Okay, and you stir this around. And already, it, it is thickening up already. See. Like I said, you can you can do this as thick as you want, or as thin as you want. It's all up to you. See, I like it a little on the thicker side. That way, it doesn't soak through the the bun because normally what you would do is you put like a, some people put cheese first then the hot dog then some chili then some onions you always put the really wet wet stuff on the top that way it don't don't get a chance, chance to, too much of a chance to soak to the bun okay see I'm gonna add just a pinch more of uh, see, how, see how it starts settling on the, on the spoon here that's what it's doing in the bottom of that this here ramekin I got so you want to keep stirring it. Now you can use uh, something that's like a gelatin base, xanthan gum you can use to thicken it. There's all different kinds of thickeners out there. But this, this has been around for eons. And I really thought in the way back when, the only people that used it was the Chinese people for the Chinese food to thicken it up or make things like nice and shiny. <laughs> but yeah, everybody uses this. And I think we're gonna call it a day right here. I'll be back momentarily. Okay, guys, there you have it. You can see the red sauce and the uh, onions. They're nice. They're pliable. They're soft. This is what you want to put on your hot dog or your hamburger. Or you can put it on steak. You can put anything you want. It's nice. It's very tasty. Uh, it doesn't take that long to make. Remember I said if you put the more water you put in, the longer it takes to cook it down. So uh, if your onions are a little hard, just keep cooking them. Add some water if you need to, and you're on your way. Okay, so this is Mr. Dan saying if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Share with your friends, neighbors, and whoever. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. And when you do, notification bell will pop up. You hit that. That will notify you each and every time we come up with another video. There's an arrow down, uh, little arrow down button below the video box. You hit that. Drop down box will come down. It'll give you a link to Cook O' Mess Dan Facebook page, give you a link to my daughter's artwork site page, and it'll give you a list of ingredients to make this delicious, delicious red onion sauce. So, stay here, my friends, and when you are, come back, and we'll give you another delicious dish, just like this. This is Mrs. Dan saying stay healthy, stay wise, stay away from COVID, and thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. We're up for now.